So in this segment, we're going to be thinking about the significance of learning outcomes and learning objectives for course assessment. Um, one of the things to emphasize early on is that the reason we really focus on learning outcomes for assessment processes is that summative grades, so if we're thinking about um, how many students received A, B, C, D, F for the course, while can lead us to bigger questions and summative grades can get us to think about different sort of research projects. Um, on their own, summative grades typically aren't actionable data, uh, meaning that we can't look at how many students got A, B, C, and D and get a good sense of where to go next, um, what the next steps are in terms of revising the course, um, removing barriers for students. Outcomes data, on the other hand, looking at how students performed on particular learning outcomes, um, where they struggled, where their successes were, can do a much better job than summative grades at informing decisions we make. Additionally, one of the other reasons we want to think about really focusing on what makes for effectively written course outcomes is that in addition to effective course outcomes really benefiting faculty and instructors, that um, you're given a kind of a roadmap of the major assignments, the main topics to focus on in the class. Additionally, whenever equity or whenever learning outcomes are really poorly written, it actually can create kind of an equity barrier for students in the sense that um, when outcomes are poorly written, they often don't give students a sense of what success in those outcomes actually look like. Um, making it harder for students to know what the course is actually driving at and what success will look like for that course. Additionally, when outcomes are poorly written and not relevant to students, it makes it more of a challenge for students to think about the significance of the course um, for their career, for their community interactions, and for their further studies. And so we really want to focus on writing uh, outcomes effectively to set up instructors for success with an assessment and students for success within the class. When we think about effectively written outcomes, um, four characteristics often come up, um, qualities that are common across outcomes when they're written really well. One is that the outcome will be very specific in that it's not gonna be just a general sort of course topic. Um, it's not gonna be sort of a full field of study, but we'll focus on a particular element of the course topic, a particular skill, particular concepts for students to be able to master by the end of the class. A second thing we think about is, effective outcomes are written in a way that the main action verb, what students are doing, what students are knowing, is written in a way that can be observed and can be measured. And so we think about that in the sense of outcome verbs being things like prepare, apply, analyze, evaluate, describe, define, all kinds of verbs that we can actually witness somebody doing to be able to grade and give feedback on. The um, Opposite of that would be the thing that's often um, advised against when writing learning outcomes is having the word, oh, that students will understand or students will know. The challenge being that it can be hard to observe somebody understanding, to measure somebody's knowing, apart from them demonstrating that um, in a particular way. And so we really want outcomes to be written in a way that the action verb, again, is something that you can see, something you can measure, something you can observe on an assignment. Third thing is that it's actually achievable. What that means is that given the resources of the class, including the time of the class, how long it is, um, the material students have to work with, that the outcome is something that students can actually be expected to achieve by the end of the class. And fourthly, um, we want to think about effective outcomes being written in a way that emphasizes their relevance. And we can take relevance to mean that students from reading the outcome can determine why that particular outcome isn't considered within the class, how it's relevant to the course topic, as well as to go a step further there to think about relevance to students as well. That doesn't have to necessarily mean relevance to students' lives and out, uh, um, communities outside of the classroom, but we might think about that the outcome demonstrates a relevance to students in relationship to their professional career and why this outcome is significant.